Hi everyone. Yep. So today I have Jules, who's a speech therapist with me. She has her own business called Child Speech Therapy, which is based in Rhodes. And I thought we'd have a little bit of a chat to her. Hi Jules, thanks for coming to our interview today. Hi Emily. Hi, thanks so much for having me. Um, happy to be here and answer any questions. And yeah, did you want me to start off by saying a little bit about myself or did yeah, you want to get straight to the questions? In, fill us in um, about your business and what you do. Yeah, sure. So I've been a speech pathologist for 13 years uh, in Sydney and I also went to London for a couple of years to work over there um, with the Tier 5 visa, so when it was still operating. Um, uh, we are mostly early intervention or children under six years of age and we do see a lot of children on the spectrum. So I did an additional master's in inclusive education in autism. So we see a lot of children who are showing signs on the spectrum or already have a diagnosis. We're a smallish clinic. Um, there's just three of us here and we like it that way for now. You know, it's yeah. we're busy all the time, but we also feel that we're providing lots of quality time and um, resources to the community. So I also link in with the RIDE Community Health and do um, free in-services there and just chat with the other speech pathologists just to see what's what's available in the community for community health as yeah. well as private clients and, yeah, just yeah. loving it. And I do that with the local preschools and childcare as well. So, yeah, it's really awesome. fun. That's amazing. And I think that's so important for all speeches to do is whether you're in private practice or whether you're in a community health setting or a hospital setting, our goal ultimately is to help children and to help families. So yep. the more we can work together, um, the better outcomes we can have for our clients, our patients, and just for families and the community in general. So that's great. 100%. And I'm so passionate about that early intervention and um, educators, childcare workers, they're the front line and yeah. they're seeing all of our little kids and yeah. um, some of them don't have the budget for that professional development or upskilling. So um, mm. happy to do that and duck in. Um, yeah. I think it was an initiative of SPA actually when we graduated all the way okay. back then and, yeah, yeah just continue doing it because I like it. Yeah, no, that's fantastic and I'm sure it's really helpful for them as well. Yeah, yeah. No, they all, the feedback's great. So, yeah, it's right. been really good. Fantastic. So if we're talking about your team, um, what would you say is a top quality that you look for from a new grad or, or anyone coming to you with experience when they're doing an interview? Yeah, um, that's a really good question. So like a lot of clinics, we are hiring and we do look at, you know, different CVs and have chats with other speech pathologists who are interested. And definitely what we look for is um, a can-do attitude. So yes, obviously having a degree in speech pathology and a member of SPA, but also um, interpersonal skills. So um, I guess bedside manner and having that chat with the family, we don't see anything as kind of right or wrong in terms of everyone's personal preference or um, their passion area for um, doing therapy. Uh, it's just we really do look for how they relate to people. And, um, yeah, and um, obviously getting along with the team. You know, some people prefer to be in a team environment. Some prefer solo. We have a mix. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Fantastic. That's great. And so you've been a speechy long term now. So what does it mean to be successful as a speechy to you? Oh, gosh. I think because it's been such a long time, I've seen just so many changes in the industry. Um, I can definitely relate to being in, you know, the environment where you're just working nonstop. And I wouldn't, I used to think that was successful, right? You booked out, you're nonstop. But now I think, um, with so much shift on like mental health and mm. lifestyle balance, I think having a good lifestyle balance and looking after yourself as well as looking after your clients and asking for help if you need it, not taking on more than you can handle and, um, yeah, just doing professional development, trying new things. I just think that that's, you know, what would be considered successful. Yeah, and I think... That's so important. You can't be helping children and giving them therapy if you're burnt out yourself. A hundred percent. And I think it's a big key issue in, a, in any field, any health field, right? It's the number one. Yeah. I think health practitioners are the number one for stress and anxiety. So, yeah, just being aware of that and not worrying about, you know, your numbers and um, 
trying to be everything to everyone. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. And is there any sort of final words of wisdom or advice you would love to give to new grads or um, student species? Yeah, sure. So I would just advise to um, reach out. So we have new grads and even um, students reach out to come and observe um, and ask lots of questions. We're more than happy to help. I think every speech pathologist is, and it's a great way to learn about the industry and what areas there are and maybe what clicks with you and um yeah just get out ask for help observe as many places as you can don't feel like there's any silly questions and you know have fun you know I know the degree was quite hard and um there's just a lot of support out there so definitely put your hand up that's the advice I would give yeah fantastic that's so good thank you so much for coming on today and chatting to us absolutely a lot out of it if anyone wants to get in contact with you where's the best place to go yeah, sure. So um, jump on uh, our webpage, which is um, www.childspeechtherapy.com.au. We've yeah. also got Instagram, which is at Child Speech Therapy. Feel free, our number's on there. Give me a call, send me a message. And, um, yeah, we're happy to help out or if you're interested in a role or job. Um, yeah. Lovely. Thank you so much, Jules. Thank you again for your time. You. No worries. Thanks so much. And we'll see you guys for the next interview. See ya. Great. Thanks so much, Emily. Take care. Bye. Bye.